our radius is the square root of 6, we find out about 2.4, yeah. just under 2, 2.5. Two yeah. So we'll go ahead, we'll, we'll plot this, or you make your center first, and then approximate your radius. Now, you're not going to be exact, because you, you can't be exact with the square root of 6, but you can approximate it. So if we're center 3, negative 2, 3, negative 2 is 1, 2, 3, down 2. Hey, just like our shifting would work, look at that. Isn't this kind of neat for I hope it's neat for you. You can shift this to the right 3, and down two, and that's exactly where your center is going to be. Exactly what we thought it was going to be. You with me on that? From there, we got to go up two and a half, about two and a half, down two and a half, left two and a half, and right two and a half, or two point four. <coughs> so, quick question: Are we going up, down, left, and right from our origin? No. No, because then every circle would be centered at the origin. That's not the way it is. Our center can move around. Okay, so I'm going to go up two and a half. One, two, and a half. Just about two and a half. I mean, it's 2.4, but on a graph, you're not going to be able to tell the difference, really. Unless you do a really precise graph. One, two and a half. I'm doing pretty, I'm on it today. They, they take a picture. Oh, I have a picture of this. This is the best circles I've ever done. I'm really feel good about that one. Do you feel okay on how to draw your circle? Well, not draw circles because I know some of your circles. Well, yeah, some of your circles suck out there. Uh, but uh, do you feel okay with finding your center and your radius? Yes. That's the big thing. Is finding the center and the radius. Let me go ahead and give you one example to do on your own, and we'll move on to a shape called an ellipse. Okay, go for it. Do this on your own. I want you to find the center and the radius. It doesn't matter the order in which you do that, but when you draw your circle, you've got to do the center first. Once you get the hang of these circles, they can go pretty quickly. Were you able to find the center and the radius here? Yes. Is the radius nice in this one? Yes. Okay, nice. Radius isn't like the last one where we had the square root of 6. Here we're taking the square root of whatever number, whatever constant number is off to the right-hand side. So in this case, it's 16. So for 16, are we going to get 16? Radius of 4 or radius of 16 squared? Which one? 4. 4. Because whatever that number is, we're taking the square root because we know that this number is actually the radius after it's been squared. You follow me? Mm -hmm. How many people were able to get 4? Four? 4? Four. 4. Now, the center. Center, you've got to be rock solid in the center. Center, you've got to know 
where the x-coordinate is coming from, associated with the x, where the y-coordinate is coming from, and get the correct directions out of this. Now we know it from our, our parabola days, from all the work we did shifting graphs around, that whenever we have a number inside of parentheses, typically it's opposite of what we want to think it is. It's a shift in the, in the different direction. So in our case right here, that plus one is associated with x, that means we're going to be going to the left one. This plus three is associated with the y, that means we're going to be going down three spots. So on your center, you should have negative one, negative three. Do you have that? Right. According to the formula, you can look at it that way also. This could be x minus negative 1, y minus negative 3, minus a negative, that's where they're getting that plus. So again, by the formula, you should be getting here a center of negative 1, negative 3. Now you're if you got both those things right. Okay, with that, you should be able to graph it. So after we find our center, we're going to put that on the graph. Negative 1, negative 3 mm -hmm. is just a point right there. That says your set of points is going to be circled or centered around that specific spot. From there, we're going to go forward in every direction we can. Now, on graphs, that means up forward, down forward, left forward, and right forward. So that's here. That's up four, down four, and right four. Would you raise your hand if you got a circle about like that? Do you feel okay with the idea of these circles? Mm -hmm. One last thing we can do, can you go backwards? For instance, if I, if I don't give you the equation, I say find the equation if I give you the center and I give you the radius. Can you do that? Yes. Yep. Notice how the, the equation for a circle is always this thing. Mm -hmm. It's always x squared, y squared, and then a radius squared. You just have to fit these, these numbers in appropriately. So can you tell me, if I'm centered at negative 2, 4, negative 2, 4, there, you're either going to plug in 2 or negative 2. Where's the 2 or negative 2 going to go? With the y or with the x? The x. Yeah, x's go with x's, y's go with y's. The question is, are you going to have a plus 2 or a minus 2 here? Plus 2. Plus 2. Why plus 2? Yeah. Hey, you know what? This is going to be kind of neat for you also. If you were to plug this into the formula the way it is, notice how we're supposed to have x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. If you plug in minus h, that's your h. What's it do when you have a minus and negative? It changes to that plus. That's where we're getting that from. That's why we, we were able to understand this center from the formula. So yeah, we're going to get x minus 2, or x plus 2 there. What are we going to get over here? Y plus 4, <coughs> Y minus 4. What do you minus think? Four. Y minus 4. Again, you can plug in minus Y minus K. K in that case is 4. What about our, our radius? 9 squared. 9. So is it just, is it just not, are we going to leave it just 9 down there? Are we going to put 3? What are we going to get out of our? 81. You're going to square that radius. Just like you would take a square root of that constant to get your radius, you're going to square the <coughs> radius to get that constant. So in our case, our <coughs> formula for our circle is x plus 2, y minus 4, both being squared, equals 81. How many will feel okay with that so far? Would you like to try one of your own? Okay, same question. I'm going to give you just your center and your radius. <clears throat> and just make me up my equation. Were you able to get it? Yes, no? It's even quicker than the 
the actual graphing part, right? You're just plug, <laughs> plugging these into formula, basically. So if I'm asking for, for the equation circle, and I got my center and my radius, my equation is going to be x minus something or x plus something squared, and y plus or minus something squared equals r squared, whatever that happens to be. What am I going to be adding or subtracting to my x here? Zero. Oh, okay. So it really doesn't matter what you put because you're adding or subtracting zero. Just make sure you have a zero up there. How about with the y? Am I going to be adding three or subtracting three? Adding three. Adding three, because three, you're subtracting a negative. That's what, how the formula works. So we would be adding three. And the radius that we're going to have, what is that? Five. So am I going to end with five or end with 25 or something five. different? Five. So plug that into the formula first and then simplify what you can. X minus zero. Well, how much is X minus zero? zero. X minus zero is X, X. X, and then we square it. So this whole thing, don't leave it as X minus zero. <laughs> write a little bit more, more, write it more better. X write simpler than that. So X minus zero, that's X. If we square it, we're going to get X squared. You okay that that is actually X squared? Yeah. We went the other way just a little while ago. Plus, well, we're not going to change that at all. That's the way we like to see it. We are going to square our, our 5, though. That's it. Would you be able to go backwards and tell me the center and the radius? Sure, we've already done that. We just accomplished that. So now we can go either direction. We can start from an equation, find the center and the radius, and graph it. Or we can start from a graph. We can even start from a graph, right? I can give you that in graph format with the center and the radius. You should be able to translate that into an equation for me. How many people feel okay with what we just talked about so far? All right. Yes, no? All right.